Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another 4K and Blu-ray collection update. If you guys don't know me, my name is David and I review movies over at CinemaDeviant.com. Uh, my goal is to showcase uh, any movies that are out now and any movies that may be coming out in the upcoming weeks. Um, I know I have not done one of these in a while. I haven't really posted in a while either. And uh, maybe I'll do a live stream soon uh, to explain a little why or another video or something. Um, but it's been pretty busy here. So I have a backlog of stuff that I want to get to. Uh, so you may see some new stuff and then also some some stuff that's been out for quite a bit. Uh, but just again, FYI, if uh, you guys, so you guys know anyway. First up, we have Rad right here. This is the Mondo Steelbook right here. It looks really rad. <laughs> it's really cool. I love it. I love Mondo Steelbooks, period. Um, and I'm glad to have this one in my collection. This one is number 46. I don't know if you guys can see that there shining too much but uh really really cool i have not seen this movie in so so long and i know everybody it, this is like the cult movie that everybody talks about on instagram online and stuff like that and i want to watch this again i have not watched it since probably i was a kid uh so i cannot wait to check this one out let's go ahead and pop this open like i said it's been in it's been wrapped up for quite a while and uh, i feel bad because this is such a beautiful a beautiful steelbook to showcase uh, anyway here goes nice cover there really really cool and then here goes the back here with all the all the bonus features there as well you can see and this is out from uh from mill creek now i'm not sure if you can still find it i, I haven't really checked to be honest with you um and i did notice something right here i remember the first time that i saw this it freaked me out right there all it is is just a a peel a wrapper that you can peel off of it but really really nice again has that cool slip co slip cover to it and there you showcase the front here nice colors i love it it has some nice spot gloss in there as well really really cool and then the back here so i've seen some uh that were wrapped up you know uh that, that people had i guess received with this cover they were wrapped up the opposite side and that actually like this, this side looks pretty cool i like this so it's a i guess your decision whichever side you want to do now if you do it that side uh you are going to get you know not the spine on this side but it's going to be on that side but it's really cool either way so i guess you have a choice whichever way you want to showcase it all right let's go ahead and pop this open all right it does come with a digital digital code and here we have the disc here for Rad. Again, this is Mondo 46. Nice, nice artwork. Essentially the, the cover there. And then we have the interior, which again, to me, always an interior on a steelbook is, is like, you, you got to be, you know, it, it has to be some of the best. And this is a really cool scene right here. I think this is cool. And then here goes the front, back, and spine for Rad. This is Mondo Steelbook number 46, and it is out now from Mill Creek Entertainment. Again, like I said, awesome steelbook. I cannot wait to watch this, this movie. It's been so, so long. Um, I want to say I might, I might have watched I think I watched it with my brother when I was younger. So if my son is interested in it, I'm going to check it out first, see uh, if maybe he would be even be interested in it. If he is, we're going to watch that one together for sure. Next up. It's a two. It's a, a twofer, and it is Long Halloween, one and two. Figured I'd, I'd include these include these together just because, um, you know, you get the full story here. I love the the artwork here, the connective artwork that they chose to do with uh, Joker and Two Face, and this is one of my favorite uh, Batman graphic novels. Um, and and I'm so man, I was so excited whenever they said that they were gonna be. Uh, be adapting them in animated form and god it's so good it's they're both rated r oh actually the first one's rated pg-13 second one's rated r um and uh they're amazing now i will say again from a movie standpoint from an animated movie standpoint um these are these are pretty awesome if you've never read the book you're gonna love these um if you've read the graphic novel before there's quite a bit of changes and I know I run into some people that are like, oh, well, it wasn't like the graphic novel. Well, I mean, you, you have to try to enjoy it 
from a new perspective, I guess you could say, because they change a lot of stuff. Hush was even way different than what it was in the graphic novel, but I still liked it. Um, these are the same. I, they're really, really enjoyable, and it was really cool to see some of the some of the characters that, that I read in the book. You know, pretty much all the characters, the rogues gallery of Batman um, in in these movies. And I thought they did a great, great job adapting it. Obviously, they had to change some things around because of, you know, constraints and things like that. But they did really, really well. And um, I, I highly, highly uh, recommend checking these out. Especially right now, you know, we're in uh, Halloween season going into uh, Thanksgiving and uh, Christmas and New Year's and things like that. Um, you'll you'll get it. It's I'm not even going to say too much because it'll kind of... There, there's a killer out there that kills on the holidays. That's all I'll say. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and take out the slip cover. And we have that. It does come with a digital copy. And here we have the disc for Batman The Long Halloween Part 1. You see there? And then the front, back and spine for Batman The Long Halloween. And it is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Now, I did forget to show the back. Sorry. Now, here goes all the special features as well. Now, this one does have include a DC Showcase short, which I love those so much. And this one's The Losers. Uh, I thought it was The Losers from uh, the movie. Like, uh, there was a movie called The Losers that had Chris Evans and Jeffrey D. Morgan. And I think that was like an updated version of, of these guys. These are uh, World War II troops. And... Uh, and something crazy happens. <laughs> I mean, it it's really cool. Not what I expected, though. Totally not what I expected. All right, next one is part two. Let's go put this over here. Again, awesome artwork. Love it. Here goes the back here. And then this one has a DC Showcase short, the Blue Beetle. This one was really good. I love the Blue Beetle. He's one of my, my favorite, uh, favorite characters in DC as well. And then... Uh, they also have, you know, the special features there. It does include uh, the uh, the Injustice sneak peek there, which I cannot wait for that one. That one's going to be an unboxing for sure. And then some, they, they always do like the, the an extra animated uh, episodes and things like that on on, uh, on their animated movies, which is really cool as well. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. It does come with, again, digital copy. And then here goes Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. Really cool. And then um, to see the disc side by side is really cool as well. All right. So really nice. Again, I totally recommend checking those out. If you have not already, um, they're really, really good. The stories are really, really good. Um, again, if you've read the, the comic, you may be a little slighted by it or whatever. You may feel like uh, it's not that, you know, it's not the same. Yeah, I mean, it's not the same. It's not going to be the same, really, or totally. But really, really good nonetheless. Next up, we have one of my favorite comedies. And I remember watching this as a kid. And every, like, I think Saturday Saturday afternoon or Sunday Sunday afternoon on a, on local TV. It's <laughs> Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. <laughs> Sorry, Sylvester Stallone and Estelle Getty. Um, one of my favorites, just cause, maybe just for nostalgia reasons. Uh, but to me, I, I, I laugh every time I see it. Not the best movie in the world either. There's a story out there uh, involving Arnold Schwarzenegger. If, I don't know if you guys have heard it. Where he was offered this movie. Uh, and uh, and Sylvester Stallone, they had like a rivalry going on. And he kept saying, oh, no, no. I think it was Sylvester Stallone that was offered the movie. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger kept telling him, oh, well, I got offered it too. Or I got offered it first. So Sylvester Stallone took it anyway. Arnold knowing that it was not going to be a good movie and he went and did the movie. It was, it was something around that, <laughs> that sense. They always messed with each other back in the day, but, um, but yeah, so, and then I love the, the artwork here. Obviously there's tons of these out that Mill Creek does with the VHS tapes and stuff like that. So really, really cool. I love the aesthetic of it. And then here goes the back here in case you guys don't know what it's about. If you haven't seen it, I'd say just give it a shot. Just, just for, for giggles. I mean, cause it's it's a silly like I believe it's from the nineties, ninety two, yeah. So <laughs> I think you'll get the point of how silly it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Different cover art here, which is cool. I like that. And then the back here. 
and we'll go ahead and pop this open. And we have the same disc art as the cover art, but really good movie. It's just it, it's just a, a a silly fun movie, you know. That that if you if you're looking to waste some time, pop this in. It, I think you'll get a kick out of it. As at least I do, anyway. <laughs> but this one is out now from Mill Creek Entertainment. All right. Next up, another Mill Creek title, The Babe, starring uh, John Goodman. I have not seen this movie in so so long. I popped it in yesterday, and God, so much so so much just flooded back. Nostalgia just flooded back to me. Really really good. And John uh, John Goodman. I mean, you couldn't pick anybody else really to be a uh, Babe Ruth, but really great story as well. One of my favorites growing up as a kid. And again, you have the VHS uh, look up here on the on the slip cover, and it you have the Be Kind Please Rewind sticker and then here goes the back here if you guys don't know what it's about but again really really good so it's a feel-good movie um, and then different cover cover art than the slip cover you get a different backing as well let's go ahead and pop this open and we have this cart right here this is the thing about Mill Creek. They always put awesome disc art on their discs for the most part. And I, I think, especially like titles like this, that's what I always like to see. I like to see disc art. And this is the same as the uh, slip cover here. So it's cool. And here is the front back and spine for The Babe. And this one is out now from Mill Creek Entertainment. All right. Again, big shout out to Mill Creek. They, they always put out the, the, the coolest stuff, the most unique stuff as well. They've gotten better and better. I still remember the, the beginnings of Mill Creek. They were not like this. And I feel like they've evolved so much since then and put out some great uh, great uh, catalog titles as well. Um, all right, next up, we have... Um, I don't want to even say a guilty pleasure because I do like them. I do enjoy them quite a bit. Uh, but it's Fast 9, the Fast Saga. Right here on 4K. It does have 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital copy included. Now, I do have one question. I know that it's fat F9, the Fast Saga, but I think they should have saved that the Fast Saga subtitle for the very last one or something. I don't know. Unless they're going to say, like, the end of the road or something like that. I don't know. That, I guess that was my only weirdness about the, the subtitle to this movie. But I enjoy these movies quite a bit. I've been trying... I've been trying to get my son to watch all of these. I got him to watch the first one, and he enjoyed it quite a bit. I'm like, all right, I'm going to put on Too Fast, Too Furious. He's like, <sighs> and I'm like, okay, fine. I won't force you. <laughs> but I was trying to get him to watch this one because this one was really, really fun. It's ridiculous, mind you. Uh, and that's the one thing that I, I've always told everybody. These movies are ridiculous. Whenever I say, you know, I like the Fast and the Furious saga uh, movies, and they're like, but they're so out there i'm like i know but they're so fun <laughs> like they're, they're just dumb fun popcorn movies um and i i enjoyed this one quite a bit it was weird seeing john cena as um dominic toretto's brother uh, a little bit <laughs> but i'm like other than that really fun movie action packed as well you have the front here i haven't seen the director's cut yet i've seen this theatrical version and i really enjoyed that one so i'm gonna pop in uh the director's cut pretty soon here goes the back here so, I mean, if you're, okay, be honest. If you're a fan of the Fast and the Furious uh, movies, let me know down below. I'm curious out there who thinks it's ridiculous and who just loves them all to heck, even though even though they are ridiculous. Um, all right, let's open this up. And we have, let me see the back here. The back is a little, is a different than the, the slip cover right here, but same special features on there as well. And... This this movie, by the way, I'm not I'm no technical wizard or anything like that as far as 4K goes, but it looks pretty great. <laughs> the action movies always always get me whenever it comes to 4K. All right, and then here goes the Blu-ray for F9, the usual uh, universal semi-reflective uh, Blu-ray. And then we have the 4K the 4K disc with the uh, the disc art there, same as the cover of the movie. Really, really cool. All right. And here goes the front, back, and spine for F9, the Fast Saga. 
and this one is out now from Universal uh, Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. And for all those wondering, it does have uh, Adobe Atmos, Adobe Vision, and Adobe Audio. Okay. I, I I try. I've tried before. Trust me. I've tried to like sit down and listen to to the differences. I just I can't. I don't know. Maybe I'm going deaf. <laughs> <laughs> let me know if you're one of those people as well like that cannot really tell or see the difference too much visual i can i can pretty much tell if there's like grain and stuff like that in 4ks um and, and the picture clarity and things like that um, as far as audio goes i can't i'm not an audio file like that so i can't hear the differences completely they have to be very very obvious for me to tell uh next up we have Mortal Kombat Legends on 4K Ultra HD. Does that 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray and digital copy included? This is Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realm. And I like these quite a bit. The Scorpion one was really, really good. Um, this one here um, kind of topped it. I really enjoyed this one a, a little bit more than the Scorpion one. Um, this one felt like Mortal Kombat. You know, it felt like the movies, but just on a bigger scale. Um this is essentially the video games i felt like they, they told the story in this movie almost to the t just like the video games would, t would tell the story the most most recent video games anyway um and it's action-packed very bloody very gory and you have joel McHale as johnny cage so <laughs> there's even like like a like a an alternate take or like a gag reel type of thing uh, uh in the in the features where he gives some of the best lines that I wish that they would have kept in the movie, <laughs> but really, really good. So, so good. I totally recommend this if you're, especially if you're a Mortal Kombat fan. And then here goes the back here, in case you guys want to see what it's about. We pause that there. And then, like I always say, 4K with, with animation and 4K to me, it always lends itself really, really good. Um, it looked it looked great to me. <laughs> I saw no, nothing nothing wrong with it, um, so I do recommend it on 4K, if you have a 4K, uh, any way to watch 4K anyway. It does include a uh, digital copy, and here goes Mortal Kombat Legends Battle for the Realms, Battle of the Realms on Blu-ray, semi-reflective, and then the 4K disc here. I really do wish that they would have put some, some uh, disc card here, but... That's okay. All right. And here goes the front back and spine for Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms. And this one is out now from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. This one was really nice. Again, like I said, I enjoyed it quite a bit. It felt like the games. It felt like the, like the more recent video games anyway. And I enjoy those quite a bit. Next up. We have uh, another one of the, I guess, another one in this in a series of movies that I enjoy quite a bit. Uh, even the ones that are kind of, eh, <laughs> you know, I still enjoy them. Um, and that's the Forever Purge, right here on Blu-ray. Um, this one, I was wondering about this one. You know, it's it's a typical, you know, whenever you hear about a Purge movie coming out, you're like, oh, okay, you kind of know what to expect. Um, this one kind of took a, 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 a swerve, you know, somewhere else just because of the, the forever purge thing. Um, the purge started and then it just, they thought it ended and then everybody just kept going and it got worse and worse and worse and worse. And that was the thing that, that kind of intrigued me quite a bit because now I'm thinking, okay, cool. Like now that now there's an entry point to a bigger story that could be told. Uh, and that was the one thing that really intrigued me about this movie. And I was like, okay, so maybe th this almost could be like a soft reboot in a, in a, in a way anyway, because every other one, it was just like, all right, it's one night. They survived the night. Cool. We're done. This one is telling a broader story, a bigger story that, that can branch off into something else. And that's what intrigued me quite a bit. Um, and the same type of, you know, purge violence that you would expect. Uh, I thought the story was pretty interesting as well as far as the characters and the motives and things like that. But really good all, all the way around. I was kind of like surprised by it. Um, and then here goes the back here. If you guys don't know what it's about. And there, there was a lot of like anti-Trumpisms or Trumpisms in this movie as well. Uh, just FYI. I'm not, you know, I'm not 
going one way or another for anybody out there. Um, but just again, there's a lot of political. That's what I should have said. Uh, political stuff in this movie quite a bit. I was like, well, you could have gone without doing that, but they went there. So, <laughs> all right. And um, does come with digital copy. All right, here's the, the DVD of the Forever Perch. And the Blu-ray of the Forever Perch right here. Same discard pretty much, uh, nothing too different. And then here goes the front back and spine for the Forever Purge. And this one is out now from Universal Pictures Home Entertainment. So again, like I said, I enjoyed it quite a bit. I thought um, it, it, I, I can see again where they're going with it. And I would, I am intrigued to see what they do with it next. Now I'm like, okay, when's the next Purge movie coming out? Usually I'm like, well, okay, there's, an, there's another Purge movie. Now I'm looking forward to it. Um, next up, we have a, a, a classic cult movie that I love so much. Maybe sometimes it's not for everybody, but it's one of my favorites, and that is Clockwork Orange. Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. And this is the 50th anniversary. That's bonkers to, <laughs> to hear that. <coughs> but I remember watching this when I was probably way before I should have been watching it, but I was a big fan of Stanley Kubrick. So I would try to watch anything that he put out. Um, I was a big fan of film. Like, just it was weird. <laughs> I was a really big film fan, film fan as a kid. Um, and uh, and it was, to me, it was really, really long. I can't remember how long. One, 137 minutes. I'm not great at math, so somebody do the math for me <laughs> down in the comments. But, um, what, it's like almost like two hours, two hours, ten minutes, something like that? Uh, but, it, um... Anyway, it does have 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and digital copy. I have to, like, think about math for a second. Um, but really good movie. Um, it's it's a it's a standout movie that you... I don't feel like it could be made nowadays. Uh, this is one of those movies. But really good nonetheless. Uh, Malcolm McDowell as a really young man. But really, really super good. If you've never seen it, I highly suggest and recommend uh, watching it. But just be warned if, if you're triggered by certain things, uh, just be aware anyway. All right, does have digital copy. And then here we go with the Blu-ray disc for Clockwork Orange. And the 4K disc for Clockwork Orange. And it's just orange. And that's cool. <laughs> that's cool with me. That's discard in itself. All right. And then here goes the front back in spine for clockwork orange on 4k and this one is out oh my god i don't know but if i find out i'll put it down on the screen below <laughs> if it's not out already <laughs> all right and this is from warner brothers home entertainment i usually have all these all these dates and stuff in my head that one failed me so i if like i said i'll put the date down below if it's not out already uh next up is uh one that i'm I was like really stoked to pick up because it's been a while since I picked one of these up. And that is Steelbook for Black Widow. This is the Best Buy Steelbook. I have not picked up a Marvel Steelbook in quite a bit um, since everything that happened or whatever out there. But um, it was just, it was weird. And kind of like, it made me giddy just to hold it in my hands <laughs> after not having one for so long. Um, so this is pretty cool. Black Widow, um, after all the 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 stuff out there with it being delayed, 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 delayed. I still thought it was a good movie. Maybe the anticipation is a thing that maybe harmed it quite a bit. Um, if it didn't keep, if it didn't keep getting delayed, 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 I think maybe everyone would have enjoyed it a bit more. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Like I said, I'm a Marvel dude, uh, through and through like, you know, I love all the MCU movies. That's, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, even the not so great ones. Um, this one was was pretty good. It was pretty darn good. Not the best, but pretty darn good. And it was just, just, uh, I was just happy to see a Marvel movie on screen again, mind you. Um, but uh, I was all for it. And from the recording of this video, they have already settled the the lawsuit with Disney. Has already settled the lawsuit with Scarlett Johansson. So maybe we might see something more. Possibly, I don't know. I hope so. Fingers crossed. But anyway. Really cool um, to, to finally have one in my hands again, <laughs> have a steelbook in my hands again from Marvel. 
And here goes the back here with all the special features. Let me zoom in quite a bit. I haven't gone through all the special features yet, but I will be doing so shortly. And there goes the front there. Really nice. It's a nice spot glossing there on Black Widow. And then there goes Helena Belova. Nice spot glossing there on her character as well. All right, let's go ahead and pop this open. Does have digital copy. And then here is the 4K disc for Black Widow. All right. And here goes the Blu-ray disc for Black Widow. Now, this I think the 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 a little bit of the disappointment for this movie is that everybody thought that that it was going to show a little bit more of the connection between this movie and like Infinity War, which it kind of did, but kind of didn't. Um, I, I think maybe people were expecting something like that, and expectation always disappoints people sometimes. So I'm j I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt here. And then here goes the interior here. You have Taskmaster right there. And that was, I kind of had a feeling that they were going to go that way with that character. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so. All right, and then here goes the front, back, and spine. And this is for Black Widow. And this is the 4K Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And this one is out now as well. They keep doing restocks here and there. So I don't know, you might you might be able to find one still. If you don't have one, just keep checking Best Buy. And I'll, I'll throw a link down in the description below, just in case that way you just click that link and you can keep checking uh, to see if they have any. Who knows, by, by this you know recording, they might have some already still. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Next up, breakdown. Starring Kurt Russell. Now, and this is part of the Paramount uh, Paramount's Present uh, series here, and this one it came out in 1997. Now, I completely forgot about this movie um, as I was watching it, because uh, I mean I'm a Kurt Russell fan. I like Kurt Russell nonetheless. As I'm watching it, I'm like, what does this sound? Or what does this seem familiar? Like I'm looking at the story and how it's going, the beats of the story. Um, and I was like, I've seen this before, <laughs> but it was a long time ago. It could have been like right in 1997 or something like that. But, um, essentially this, uh, this guy, he gets run off the road, uh, by this other dude and, um, and his car ends up breaking down, uh, hence breakdown. And he goes to, uh, this truck driver you know, and an 18 wheeler stops to help them. He's like, no, we're fine. And the, the, his, he's there with his wife. His wife's like, no, you know, maybe you should go with him to the next town, call for a tow truck, come back. Um, and, uh, I'm just trying to give you a quick, rough bit of the story. Um, and then he was like, no, we'll just stay here. He's like, well, you stay here. I'll go with the truck driver. The wife says, and he's like, oh, man, uh, okay, fine. I'll stay with the car. You're right. I know. I know everybody's like, what? I know. <laughs> so she goes with the truck, with the truck driver to the next town. There was a diner or whatever. They're going to call a tow truck. Um, finally he looks under the car. Some, you know, he fixes it real quick. He's like, okay, cool. Like, I'm just going to go to the next town. Goes to the next town. They're nowhere to be seen. The wife's missing w with the guy. And so that's where it starts. And that's where I'm going to leave it. It's a very interesting and cool thriller. Um, and like I said, I was, I was kind of like, I think I've seen this before. And I was like, oh my God, I have seen this before. <laughs> but really, really good. I, this is another highly suggest, uh, suggested uh, um, watch from me. Uh, really, really good thriller, especially if you're into thrillers. And then I love how they do the original posters here uh, in this fold-out thing on the slipcover. Then here goes the back here. If you guys are interested, uh, knowing what, what it's about. Young Kurt Russell. But again intense movie and it's pretty cool um and then here goes the actual uh case cover on the case here the back is the same as a slip cover let's go ahead and pop this open it does have digital copy and then here goes the disc here for breakdown if you can see there really cool and then here goes the interior artwork and I love how Paramount, uh, the Paramount Presents movies do this as well. They give like a little uh, collage and stuff of uh, some of the scenes from the movie. And then here goes 
the front, front, back, and spine for breakdown. And this one is out now from Paramount. All right. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Last one. Okay. So. Okay, I'm just going to show it. <laughs> Night of the Animated Dead. <laughs> um, so, uh, essentially, you know, Night of the Living Dead is public domain. So anybody can do anything with that property, um, anything they want. They've been 3D ones, they've been color versions, they've been, uh, I think, CG ones. Um, there, there's been many, many versions of Night of the Living Dead. Um, this one is, is Night of the Animated Dead. Uh, and the cover here uh, looks actually pretty amazing. I know the story pretty much back, backwards and forwards. Uh, I've watched it so many times. And I love the story so much. It, it's it's um, it's it's one of those stories that is embedded in like history, in film history, and I love it so much for that. Um, this one takes that approach and just animates the whole story. Um, they do it in a way though that I again from from looking at this, it looks like really cool. Um, the way they do it is more, as you can see here in the back more of like flash animation. Um, I don't know if you guys are like, uh, if you guys knew the Newgrounds website back in the day, that's what it kind of looks like. Um, it's not that it's not enjoyable either. It is. It, it was an enjoyable watch. It was just not what I expected. Um, it was quite an enjoyable watch, to, seeing it in animated form, and they could do so much more in animation that they could probably do in, you know, uh, regular uh, live action, especially at that time. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of it, but it is what it is. It's a Night of the Living Dead, just in animated form. Um, if you're not a fan of that kind of animation, then you probably might not want to pick it up. But, uh, but this one was, was it was, if I had, I don't like giving movies number scales because it, it sounds kind of weird. If I have to give it a number scale, i uh, give it a solid six uh, out of ten or something like that. Um, but, yeah, enjoyable nonetheless, especially if you're a zombie fan like I am. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, there are going to be, like I said, more videos coming because I do have a backlog of things. And now that my son is back in school, uh, like actual in-person school, uh, it gives me a better opportunity to, to get some of this stuff done. Um, <laughs> a lot of this stuff done. So you'll be, you'll be seeing and hearing from me a lot more in the coming uh, days, months, weeks, all that. So anyway, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you dug this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, hit that like button and that subscribe button as well. Um, there will be links down in the description below if you guys want to purchase any of these titles. You guys don't have to, but if you do, it does help me out a lot. And with all that being said, we'll catch you next time.